Hey there, money mavens! Welcome to Ace Wealth Razor, where we will be diving into all things related to the world of finance, economics, and business. Whether you are a seasoned investor or just a beginner learning the ropes, we've got something for you. From breaking down the latest market trends to decoding complex financial concepts, we are here to help you level up your financial game. One of the most significant expenses that most homeowners face is their monthly mortgage payment. However, there are several ways to save money on mortgage payments in 2023. With the right strategies and planning, you can reduce the amount of money you spend on your mortgage each month and over the life of your loan. In this discussion, we will explore 9 different ways to save money on mortgage payments and provide an in-depth analysis of each strategy. Whether you are a first-time homeowner or a seasoned homeowner looking to reduce your expenses, these tips can help you save money and make your mortgage payments more affordable. Number 1. Refinancing Refinancing your mortgage can help you save a lot of money on your monthly mortgage payments. You can lower your interest rate and reduce your mortgage term. Refinancing can also allow you to switch from an adjustable rate mortgage or ARM to a fixed rate mortgage, which can help you save money in the long term. Step 1. Research lenders and compare their rates and fees. Start by researching lenders in your area and comparing their mortgage rates and fees. Keep in mind that lenders may charge fees for refinancing, such as application fees, appraisal fees, and closing costs. Be sure to compare the total cost of each loan, including fees and interest rates, to determine the best option for you. Step 2. Prepare your documentation, such as tax returns, pay stubs, and bank statements to apply for a mortgage refinance. Before applying for mortgage refinance, gather all the necessary documentation such as tax returns, pay stubs, and bank statements. Your lender will use this documentation to determine your eligibility for a refinance and to calculate your new mortgage payment. Number 2. Make bi-weekly payments. Instead of making monthly mortgage payments, you can make bi-weekly payments. This can help you save money on interest over the long term and reduce the term of your mortgage. Step 1. Contact your lender to determine if they offer bi-weekly payment options. Not all lenders offer bi-weekly payment options, so start by contacting your lender to determine if this option is available to you. If not, consider refinancing with a lender that does offer bi-weekly payments. Step 2. Set up automatic payments to ensure that you do not miss any payments. Once you have confirmed that your lender offers bi-weekly payments, set up automatic payments to ensure that you make each payment on time. This will help you avoid late fees and keep your mortgage payments on track. Number 3. Increase your monthly payments If you can afford to increase your monthly mortgage payment, you can reduce the term of your mortgage and save money on interest payments. Step 1. Determine how much extra you can afford to pay each month. Start by reviewing your budget and identifying how much extra money you can afford to put towards your mortgage payment each month. Even a small increase can help you save money on interest and pay off your loan faster. Step 2. Contact your lender to ensure that the additional payments are applied to the principal. Once you've determined how much extra you can afford to pay each month, contact your lender to ensure that the additional payments are applied to the principal. This will help you pay off your loan faster and save money on interest. Number 4. Avoid PMI If you can put down a large enough down payment on your home, you can avoid paying private mortgage insurance or PMI. PMI can add a significant amount to your monthly mortgage payment, so avoiding it can help you save money. Step 1. Save enough money for a down payment of at least 20% of the home's purchase price. Private mortgage insurance is typically required if you put down less than 20% of the home's purchase price. To avoid PMI, save up for a down payment of at least 20%. Step 2. Contact your lender to ensure that PMI is not included in your mortgage payments. If you have already taken out a loan and are paying PMI, contact your lender to see if you can cancel PMI. This may be an option if you'd pay down your mortgage balance to 80% or less of the home's original value. Number 5. Improve your credit score. A higher credit score can help you qualify for a lower interest rate on your mortgage. Improving your credit score can take time, but it can save you a lot of money over the life of your mortgage. Step 1. Obtain a copy of your credit card report and check for errors. Start by obtaining a copy of your credit card report from each of the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. 
check for any errors or inaccuracies that may be negatively impacting your score. Step 2. Pay your bills on time. Keep your credit card balance low and avoid applying for new credit. To improve your credit score, pay your bills on time. Keep your credit card balances low and avoid applying for new credit. These actions can help you establish a positive credit history and boost your credit score over time. Liking this video? Click the notification bell for more updates. You can also share, subscribe, and comment down below. Number 6. Shop around for homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance can be a significant expense. Shopping around for insurance can help you find a policy with a lower premium and save you money. Step 1. Obtain quotes from at least three different insurance providers. Start by obtaining quotes from at least three different insurance providers. You can do this by contacting insurance companies directly or using comparison websites to get multiple quotes at once. Step 2. Compare the coverage and cost of each policy to determine the best option for you. Once you have obtained quotes from multiple insurance providers, compare the coverage and cost of each policy. Make sure that the policy covers their necessary risk and liabilities for your home and that the cost fit within your budget. Number 7. Pay extra towards the principal. Paying extra towards the principal can help you reduce the term of your mortgage and save money on interest payments. Step 1. Determine if paying points is cost-effective for your mortgage. Paying points means paying a fee upfront to lower your interest rate over the life of your loan. Determine if paying points is cost-effective for your mortgage by calculating how much you would save on interest over the life of the loan compared to the cost of the points. Step 2. Have the necessary funds available to pay the points at closing. If paying points is cost-effective for a mortgage, make sure you have the necessary funds available to pay the points at closing. Paying points may lower your monthly mortgage payment and save you money over the life of the loan. Number 8. Consider an FHA loan. FHA loans requires a lower down payment than conventional loans, which can help you save money up front. However, they also come with higher interest rates and require you to pay mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. Step 1. Determine if you can afford higher monthly payments. Shorter loan terms usually come with higher monthly payments, so determine if you can afford to make the higher payments before choosing a shorter loan term. Step 2. Compare the cost of a shorter loan term to a longer loan term to determine the best option for you. Once you have determined if you can afford higher monthly payments, compare the costs of a shorter loan term to a longer loan term. A shorter loan term may save you money on interest over the life of the loan, but it may also come with higher monthly payments. Before we proceed to the last point, do you have any more tips on how to save mortgage payment? Let us know in the comment section. Now, back to the video. Number 9. Make your home more energy efficient. Making your home more energy efficient can help you save money on your monthly utility bills. This can free up money that you can put towards your mortgage payments. Step 1. Conduct a home energy audit. A home energy audit will help you identify areas of your home that are using the most energy and where you can make improvements. You can conduct a DIY audit or hire a professional to do a more thorough assessment. Step 2. Make energy efficient upgrades to your home. Once you have identified areas where your home is using the most energy, make upgrades to improve its energy efficiency. This includes upgrading to energy efficient appliances, installing energy efficient windows and doors, adding insulation and sealing air leaks. These upgrades can save you money on your energy bills and may also qualify you for tax credits or other incentives. In conclusion, there are many ways to save money on mortgage payments in 2023 by refinancing, making bi-weekly payments, increasing your monthly payments, avoiding PMI, improving your credit score, shopping around for homeowner's insurance, paying extra towards the principal, consider an FHA loan, and making your home more energy efficient, you can significantly reduce the amount of money you spend on your mortgage. With a little bit of effort and planning, you can make your mortgage payments more affordable and free up money for the important expenses or to build your savings. Be sure to carefully consider each strategy and choose the ones that work best for your financial situation. This is Ace Wealth Razor, and we'll see you next time.